Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope everybody is having a great uh, day. Hope everybody had a good day of trading. A uh, really good day. We'll get to the pivots uh, in a second. So let's talk about what we know for the last couple of days, right? And this is kind of where we talk about collecting data. This is what we always refer to sometimes doing, um, you know, kind of a, a, a feasibility study of the overall market environment will give you a lot of hints of what happens next. So Friday, we had uh, the jobs number, right? It was a hot jobs number. Um, the NASDAQ was down 1% on the jobs number and then reverse course and wind up up 1.6% uh, of the day. That's a 2.6% uh, intraday move. Okay, so that's called uh, bad news being engulfed. That's a good thing, right? So that's a check mark. Uh, then we had over the weekend the horrific events going on uh, in the Middle East. Again, prayers uh, to all the innocent victims there. Um, the market could have easily, easily been down yesterday five, six hundred points. The Nasdaq could have been down three, four hundred points yesterday. Uh, Sunday night, I actually tweeted about the Sunday night, and I said, "Well, it's kind of, it's kind of weird that you know the Nasdaq features are only down like five, ten, six tenths of a percent. Not that big of a deal at all." And we saw yesterday, um, you know, the market reverse course very, very aggressively yesterday. It, the Qs lost 363 at the open and reclaimed them back on uh, on the close, which was very, very bullish. Again, so you have the reversal on bad news on the jobs number. You got the reversal of a, a horrific, right, a horrific event uh, going on in the Middle East. So again, Friday check, Monday check. Again, that's called relative strength engulfing bad news and today right today we got finally um something that we were looking for for a very long time if you watched the video last night uh number one i made the cases of the first two studies that this was pretty good right it's kind of a good thing and the question was going into today's trading session can the bulls reclaim the 50 day right the 50 day moving average is kind of a big deal if you watched the, the ps60 workshop or if you haven't if you are brand new to the channel guys uh, take a second, right? Take a second. If this is giving you value, take a second, like, subscribe, share. That's all we're asking for. Like, subscribe, share, uh, comment if you have something uh, constructive to say about the market or anything else that's going on with your life. Obviously, leave all political opinions away from us. That's not what we are. Um, nobody's going to engage in a political conversation with you. There's a million other forums to do so. This is just not one of them. Um, but more important, uh, more important was um, if you watch the videos or you watch the workshops, you know the importance of the 50-day moving average. Um, I am a champion of it. Uh, I believe in it, and I believe that it is the birth of a trend. Okay, not a trade, birth of a trend. And we finally got back above uh, the 50-day moving average. We talked about it last night on the video, the importance of it and the importance of all the stocks that were trailing uh, or you know, uh, trailing the, the NASDAQ 100, that if they do the same thing, we could have a pretty good rally. We had a pretty good rally, right? We had a pretty good rally. We went through uh, all the symbols last night on the video, um, you know, the Amazons of the world, the Teslas of the world, the NVIDIAs of the world, the AMDs of the world. Again, all you need to do is go back to uh, last night's video. And as soon as the Qs uh, reclaimed the 50-day moving average, we just went bananas, absolutely bananas. Uh, one of the the better, more aggressive days that I can remember uh, in a very, very long time. We were ready for it. Uh, we were prepared. We knew the levels, uh, and it worked out very, very well. Here's the curveball, right? Remember we talked about yesterday uh, on the video as well? Well, if we get about above the 50-day moving average, is this a scenario now for risk back on? And I was like, well, usually it would be, right? But the fact that we're, we're going through uh, all these uh, spin cycles and all these news events and such a fluid motion uh, going on through the Middle East, it's very, very tough because you never know what news could come out. We talked about this last night. And in the middle of the day, you had different, uh, you had different 
uh, headlines pop up from Biden to Hamas to this one to that one. Uh, and and we, we had some pretty disgusting polls uh, after lunch. This is after lunch, by the way. So we had this massive, massive rally and then this massive poll, uh, massive poll in uh, the middle of the day. And we kind of went sideways for the rest of the day, which basically shows you how sensitive the market is. Right. And this is a type of market that, again, if you are going long, that's fine. Uh, everything we did today uh, was to the long side. But the point is, be wary of holding things overnight unless you have a very, very aggressive hedge. Uh, what I usually like to do, and again, uh, a lot of these videos are available on YouTube. There's actually a video out there how, how I uh, hedge my beta positions uh, with the NASDAQ 100, which is a very, which is a very, very good strategy, especially uh, in a market like this. But it really, you know, when everything settled and everything kind of closed today, we were way off our highs, okay? Uh, if you look at every single stock, um, you know, t for example, uh, Tesla was a phenomenal trade today, absolutely phenomenal trade from 62 to 69, seven point move. Uh, Tesla closed six points off its highs. NVIDIA was a really, really good trade today, okay? Really good trade today uh, from the 50, 58 area when almost to 63. Pulled in six dollars off its highs. You kind of get the, you kind of get my point here. Um, you know, Amazon had a great move today. Great, great move. We talked about Amazon the last couple of days. Uh, it pulled in a dollar fifty off its highs. Meta that had a huge, huge run today. A uh, huge run today. You know, pulled you know pulled about uh, four or five bucks off its highs. So you know, going into tomorrow, look, I I think uh, this is a perfect opportunity for the market to kind of digest what it did today kind of continue to shrug off bad news, which, which will ultimately be uh, a more proactive way to just not only uh, sitting above the 50-day, just keep on building above it. And even if it's a down day tomorrow, you want to make sure we continue to hold, uh, continue to build. Because again, if we give back, uh, if we give back the 50-day moving average on the close again, which is roughly the 367.49 level that we talked about last night's video, then we're back in the middle of the range here. And that's like, it's not exactly what the bulls want. So the longer we can stay above the 50 day, the higher probability we'll continue to rally. And the more that we continue to brush off on uh, negative headlines, especially when innocent lives uh, are on the table, um, it's, it'll be an unfortunate macro event for the universe. But as far as the trading aspect, and again, it's the only thing we could control right now, uh, will be uh, deemed bullish. So what I like going into tomorrow, it's not necessarily the beta names that continue to be strong. I like some of the names, you know, some of the names coming off the bottom. And that's kind of the cool thing about when a market reclaims the 50-day moving average, you'll usually get your frontline uh, your front line stocks to really go nuts. You know, NVIDIA, Tesla, uh, Meta, so forth and so on. But when stocks are coming off the bottom, there's a lot of value coming off the bottom as well. Let me give you guys a couple of symbols before we uh, get to the pivots. So look at uh, Instacart, right? Terrible IPO, right? Absolutely horrible IPO. Here's where things get pretty interesting in, in Instacart, right? If Instacart can get above, you see how it keeps on getting rejected here? Got rejected off this linear regression line, got rejected off this linear regression line. Today, again, got rejected off this linear regression line. If Instacart could get above the, inst the the linear regression line tomorrow, it could actually wake up. That's my point of watching stocks coming off the bottom. Look at a name, for example, like AI. AI was a phenomenal runner in the summertime, right? Had a great, great run in the summertime, kind of fizzled out a little bit, lost a little bit its luster. But look, it's coming off the bottom as well. And it, it got stuffed uh, at the 150-day moving average. If it could reclaim and confirm back the 50-day moving average, maybe AI can run as well. Again, that's the whole point of watching stocks coming off the bottom of the channel. Look at a name like ACMR. I have no idea what this thing is, right? I had no idea. The last time it broke out at, out of a macro channel, it went from 15 and the stock went to 20. Well, look what happens here. What happens if it confirms uh, it confirms the September highs, right? This thing could start a multi-day, multi-week move. Again, so if you don't trade beta, okay, you don't have to, uh, it, like what you talk about all the time, the PS60 theory doesn't stand for you have to trade mega cap technology stocks. It's just, it's just, it's, 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 you can trade the PS60 theory, small caps, mid caps, uh, bottle caps, baseball caps, whatever caps you want, as long as there's a range and as long as there's liquidity, uh, you can trade the process. And that's the most important part. 
on the way down, right? On the way down. Look in the video, not a video, look in Netflix, right? So Netflix didn't participate, okay? Had a couple of days, a little round, a little roundabout bounce. It got rejected off the 20 day supply and closed right on daily support. In case the market pulls tomorrow, guys, watch Netflix. Because if Netflix starts losing the bottom of today's channel, we can go back to last week's lows. Again, we always try to be prepared on both sides of the market. Uh, so going into tomorrow, you know, I, I could see a scenario just on how we close today that we could have a little bit of a back test. Would it surprise me if we rally more? No, of course not, because we reclaimed and closed above the 50-day moving average. But it wouldn't shock me if we had kind of an inside day, kind of the market, a little bit of a digesting today's uh, more news, that uh, kind of digesting a little bit more of today's um, uh, today's price action. So we could have a little bit of a slower day from the mega cap point of view. But for the rest of the market, let's see if they can start uh, playing catch up. So let's talk about the pivots, right? Uh, as you can imagine, okay, as you can imagine, we didn't get creative today, okay? Uh, when the NASDAQ 100 is about to reclaim the 50-day moving average, you wanna be in NASDAQ 100 names, okay? Because again, the, the thing is, when you have a potential big window to open up, again, confirming the 50-day, you don't want to just kind of creep into the front door. You want to get into a tank and drive it through. So you don't want to, you know, for example, Intel is cool, right? Intel is cool like a semiconductor. And now, you know, you'll sit there for four hours trading this thing in the 30 cent range versus NVIDIA that can run up 10, right? And that's like kind of the whole point of taking advantage of your interval. So let's go one by one. Uh, really big moves here at the open. Uh, you had semiconductors. We had everything, everything under the sun that we basically trade. Uh, AMD, uh, 107.87 needs to build, right? So here was AMD. It took out the 107.87 and traded all the way up to uh, 110 and change. We talked about NVIDIA, uh, AMD yesterday in last night's video. Apple was a little weird. Apple not only did not rally today, um, it kind of went right on the day, which is very, very odd. Uh, 179.05 needs to confirm the 50-day. Apple, you know, got up. It wasn't bad. It went up like, you know, went up like 70 cents. And for whatever reason, it's kind of died on a vine. But again, nice, you know, nice little popping, nothing crazy. Uh, these are the two, you know, these are the two trades of the day right here. Uh, NVIDIA 5605 and 458 needs to confirm. Here is NVIDIA. It took out the 56, right? Took out the 56, took out the 58, almost went to uh, 263. Great, great move. Uh, all my runners today on NVIDIA, uh, they got stopped out when the market came in. Tesla. Uh, I sold up about a couple of bucks for my last 15%, but it was a big run. We had a six-point move, um, so, excuse me, almost seven-point move on Tesla in the middle of the day. And here are the levels, 261.65 and 263.60 needs to confirm. Again, Tesla's another example of downgrades, uh, price cuts, you know, all that crap, right? You know, missing inventory numbers and yada, 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 at an absolutely freakish day. So nice move here. Took out the 61.65, took out last week's high of 63.60, and went to uh, 269. Great move. Absolutely phenomenal move there. Avago. I didn't trade Avago. It was a little too thin for me. But for all you guys who did, that's a hell of a move on Avago. 856.60 uh, needs to confirm. And look at Avago did, man. Boy, look at, the, look at this move on Avago, right? It took out the 50-day moving average. And look at this move here. This thing went absolutely nuts. Went up around around 14 points before completely moving up. It went from it went from uh, 56 all the way up to 72, nearly 73. Huge move that up there. Uh, Coinbase rejected twice. I think we spoke about Coinbase a couple of days ago. Rejected twice needs to confirm. Uh, here is Coinbase. Took out that 80 finally and traded up to uh, 82 before reversing course, just like a lot of stocks did. Uh, during the day, uh, Amazon was pretty good as well. Uh, 128.80 uh, needs to build. Here was Amazon. Um, we sold it a little bit premature uh, right before the 130 area, and then it popped up another 70 cents. Uh, I just didn't think it was going to get through. Whatever, nice move, like a dollar move on Amazon before it reversed, but you know, nice move there as well. Uh, Meta, again, continues to be incredibly strong. 320.33 uh, needs to build. Here is uh, Meta. You, get, you kind of get the point on everything, right? Everything just went nuts here. Uh, 320, 33, uh, went up to almost 325. And I believe that is it. Okay, just to give you an idea, just to give you an idea how important the 50-day moving average is, right? So I tweeted this out 
Um, I tweeted this out. I go, the cues are very close to reclaiming the 50 day. That would light everything up like a Christmas tree, right? Since that post, the stock, you know, the, the cues went up uh, $3.40, went up 1% since that post, right? So my point is once things start reclaiming the 50 day, whether it's to the downside or to the upside, things are going to start to expand and stock prices are going to expand all across the board. And that's it, guys. Guys, I wish everybody, again, peace, health, happiness. Again, if you are curious about pivots, guys, come aboard for 30 days, kick the tires, ask questions, see exactly how the PS60 theory works. I, I, I know, you know, 99% of the public doesn't even know it exists. Everybody's into small caps and this caps and that caps. And again, I've always said, folks, keep this in mind. If you're looking at the same, if you're trading the same stock, the same price, the same interval as everybody else, and you believe in the theory that 99, whatever the hell percentage is, that traders lose money, well, why the hell would you want to be trading exactly like them, right? A light bulb moment should be going on. Guys, have a great night. God bless. Stay blessed. Stay in business. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.